there's certain kinds of suffering that we can bring on ourselves. There's, there's certain kinds of uh, agony and certain kinds of pains that um, exacerbate already terrible wounds. And I think that, that some approaches to racism actually inflict on an already scarred humanity more wounds. And we have to, I think, be very careful of that, that words are really, really powerful. This is one of the things that I have learned from my Native American ancestors. You know, the Native Americans were very, very careful with the use of language. They were convinced that the words that we use either create the world or destroy it. And so when I, when I speak about um, a kind of self-inflicted martyrdom, I'm talking about ways of speaking or ways of being that actually make the problem that we are struggling with worse. And so we always have to ask ourselves, is this the right word? Is this the right time to say this? Is this the right way? There's a wonderful quotation from the Baha'i writings that has become perhaps one of my favorite. It says, uh, for every land we have prescribed a portion, for every occasion an allotted share, for every pronouncement an appointed time, and for every situation an apt remark. So to say the right thing in the right way for the right reason is really sort of the key to um, healing these terrible, terrible wounds. This is what I'm interested in, is creating uh, environments in which it's possible for people to talk with one another in new ways and to be sensitive to how delicate the human heart is. And so we have to be sources of light, sources of inspiration. And the inspiration has to reach every heart that longs for it. It cannot discriminate. Uh, it has to be um, capable of reaching even the unreachable. This is, I think, the mystery of, of what it is that we're engaged in, is we're trying to um, achieve a goal that cannot be achieved without spiritual powers, without spiritual qualities. And so seeking to embody those qualities is uh, part of the process of creating racial unity. Mm -hmm.